All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, we got a 2004 Chevrolet Silverado here today, and uh, we are, have a complaint of a blower problem on here. Okay, the blower was operating on some speeds. Uh, sometimes it would work on low, sometimes it worked on high, sometimes it didn't work. Now it doesn't work at all. So here it is. Uh, what I want to do is I want to just run down a diagram real fast with you guys, okay? Um, these systems are not difficult, but I always pull a diagram uh, before I do anything. I want to. I just want to look at it because they are, you know, sometimes different. This one happens to be a little different than the more common type of uh, resistors they use. So uh, I just want to go through it with you guys real fast, okay? Might help some of you. In any case, here we go. I'm going to turn you around. I'm going to try to. get myself set up here so I can actually see while I'm trying to show you all right so I don't know if this is the best way to do this but we're gonna try it uh, I can't look through the viewfinder because I actually can't see out here but first thing we have is fuses right hot and run we have a fuse here for the uh, heater AC fuse 30 amp and if you follow it, I marked them so that it would be easier to show you guys. Green, okay, that is a power feed, and that is going to our control module, which is the actual switch for the blower, okay? Just keeping on track with the power, you have another one that's hot at all times here. And if you follow this down, it's going to go through the uh, fuse block, and it's going to continue out to here, which is the blower resistor, uh, actually the, the blower relay, which is in, which is part of the resistor on this vehicle. This is all one unit. This is the resistor and, and uh, relay assembly. Now, you need power and ground for things to work. Now, on this system, a lot of times, well I should say on a lot of systems, when you turn the blower on uh, the lower speeds, okay, uh, they're all going to go through a resistor. All right. Then when you go to high, it's going to bypass the resistor. And this one kind of does the same thing, but it does it a different way. If you look, if you go to any one of these lower speeds here, I'm sorry I'm out of my focus here. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, if you go to any one of these lower speeds here, right, what's going to happen is it's going to put power from here. Look to the switch, right, on low, and it's going to come down and it's going to go to the blower resistor, it's going to go through the resistor, through the resistor, through the resistor, through the resistor, okay? And then it is going to go through the relay, 80, from 87A through the, res, through the relay, this is not going to move, okay? It's going to come out here and it's going to put power to the motor. The ground is going to be constant okay if you see this here the ground is the orange is going to be constant okay so what if you go to high high is a different story if you go to high right you're going to put power through the high speed circuit okay follow me here follow the yellow highlighter it's going to put power from the switch input here from this input right it's going to connect it here to high. It's going to run through block, right through the fuse block, out. And it's going to go to the other side of the coil part of the relay, right here. You see? It's not going to go through the resistor at all. It's just going to put power here. This is going to be a constant ground, same common ground. Okay, so you're going to create your magnetic field. It's going to pull this switch closed here on the relay. Now it's going to connect your power from here through, 80, through, the, um, through the, re, uh, the relay to 30, out, down, and put power here, okay? So what I want to do is I'm going to go under there and I'm going to take a look real fast at how this, uh, how this thing is working. I'm going to make sure that I have each one of these inputs to the resistor. I more than likely have a bad resistor here, it's very common. 
uh, or the relay failed, which is part of the resistor. Either way, it needs a resistor. So we're going to just check our basics here. We're going to make sure that we have our feeds throughout the range, including high, okay, including my high speed. And um, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm like pointing to this. That's not the high speed. I'm sorry about that. The, the high speed is, uh, is this guy here. Okay, I'm going to make sure I have all of my range, okay, including my high speed and my ground. If I have that, I have a bad resistor. Simple enough, okay. Um, I, can, I can actually check my um, output to the blower motor at the purple, okay, right there, and we can see if we have that. But more than likely, we're going to have a bad resistor on this thing, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's burnt. Uh, considering that these things always burn. We're going to take a quick look and see where we're at, okay? I'm going to see if I can get you guys a shot, which I highly doubt, but I'll try. Um, I'll try. Let's see where we are. I don't think I'm going to be able to get you a shot. Let's see. Oh, whoops. So where am I? Well, here's my plug for the resistor. And if I refer to my diagram here, I should have um, yellow, well actually, I'm just gonna take a look there if you guys can see that. It's melted. All right, so it needs a resistor and it needs a pigtail. Uh, right off the bat, but I'll check anyway. I have my test light hooked up here to ground. Here's my power. I'm going to go to my, uh, what do I want to go to here? I'll go to my light blue just to verify here. And there's light blue. There's my red which should be powered up, that's correct. Red is, uh, red is a fused power to the relay. Per that's, uh, next one is purple. That's correct. This guy, where am I? That's correct, that's high. And that's it, we have, uh, the other side is ground. We'll just verify that we have our ground. But switch my lead here on the test light. The power is my ground. Black. Black is my ground. All right, this is melted on the power feed and the ground side. It's going to need a resistor. So I hope this helps somebody. Uh, just being able to run through the diagram real fast on how to check this and um, if I want to now I can actually cut the wires at the resistor the two wires to go to the blower motor and I can see if the blower motor works because this thing has got to be changed anyway but what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this back in the connector and I'm just going to wiggle it put this up on high and you can hear, you can hear the relay clicking and the blower motor coming on. It absolutely has a bad resistor, so that's where we're at. Let me go call this guy, see what he wants to do, and um, see if he wants to fix it.